Well, finally, I am disappointed that the bill does not include any funding to advance the Yucca Mountain licensing application process and instead offers a false promise of interim storage as a solution to nuclear waste, the nuclear waste issue. Funding for interim storage alone cannot solve the issue of nuclear waste disposal, especially since current law strictly limits federal act action in this area. Additionally, interim storage locations will be much more difficult to cite if there are no assurances that per that of a permanent re disposal as the interim sites would become de facto permanent sites. The Governor of New Mexico recently raised this very point in expressing her concerns about a private interim storage site proposed to be located in her state. Continuing, continuing the licensing process is a necessary step to establish a permanent repository for our nation's defense and commercial nuclear waste. Over the past few decades, electric, electricity consumers across the country have paid roughly $41 billion with occurred, occurred interest into the Nuclear Waste Fund for permanent disposal of nuclear waste. Due to the political decision to halt advancement of a permanent repos a repository, however, it is the taxpayers not ratepayers, but taxpayers in all 435 congressional districts who currently are paying $2.2 million a day, more than $800 million per year, to cover the cost of temporary on-site storage. My colleague from Illinois, Mr. Shimkus, filed an amendment to address this, but it was not allowed. Unfortunately, we have had strong bipartisan support in the past for this issue. Despite our disagreements over issues as I've, that I've mentioned, I want to close by thanking Chairwoman Kaptur and the majority staff and my staff for the dedication and the hard work on this bill. Ms. Kaptur and I have worked together on the Energy and Water Subcommittee for several years now, and while I don't agree on every issue, I value our friendship and continue to appreciate the collegial and cooperative tradition of the subcommittee.